Good afternoon, YouTubers. Alright, it is Sunday, March 3rd, 2013, 12.10 p.m. Um, I had started to do the day-by-day -day bike race earlier. I thought I was recording it, but um, my thing said, ah, no error. So I had to reboot my computer and restart again. So let's try it one more time. Once more on Yahshua and the Holy Spirit. The Spirit. Why? I don't like you guys up here when I'm trying to read. Once more on the spirit. Once more on trying to speak. Once more on Yahshua and the Holy Spirit. The spirit of Yahweh is upon me because Yahweh has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the openings of the prisons to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable accept, acceptable year of Yahweh Isaiah 61 verse 1 through 12 I think I'm going to rip my tongue out Blew it in upside down or something. Isaiah 61, verse 1 and 2. Wow. In this prophetic scripture, we see the ministry of Yahshua is attributed to the work of the Holy Spirit as noted before in the message manifestation of his godly character the spirit of Yahweh is upon me because Yahweh has anointed me by the empowering of the spirit Yahshua has sent forth to preach good tidings to the poor this refers to the gospel and salvation and Yahshua went about all the cities and villages preaching the gospel of the kingdom Matthew 9 verse 35 the good news of salvation would be received by those who admitted their spiritual bankruptcy blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven Matthew 5 verse 3 also Yash Yahshua was sent forth to heal the brokenhearted. The heart of men can be broken by so many things. Condemnation, grief, grief, failure, betrayal, and more. Yahshua comforts and restores those who trust in him. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Matthew 5 verse 4 Additionally, Yahshua was sent forth to proclaim liberty to the captives and the openings of the prison to those who are bound. As with captive Israel of old, people today get into bondage to the world system. They become captivated by the worldly thinking bored by bad habits and imprisoned by ungodly relationships. Yahshua is the great liberator for all who cry out to him and feed thereafter upon his, his inspired word. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. John 8, 32 and 36. Furthermore, 
Joshua was sent forth to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Un ultimately, this speaks of the entire age of grace, whereby li lives are accepted by Yahweh through faith in His beloved Son and enriched by Yahshua with immeasurable, immeasurable spiritual riches. Yahweh has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Yahshua to the praise of the glory of His grace by which He has made us accepted in the Beloved. Ephesians 1 verse 3 and 6 Excuse me. We are also sent forth to minister. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. John 20 verse 21 as it was with Joshua, we can only fulfill our calling by the same Holy Spirit who empowered his ministries. Let us pray. Dear Father, please apply all of these ministries of the grace of Joshua to my life in fullness. Then, Father, would you empower me? by your Holy Spirit to go forth in the name of Yahshua, offering these same realities to others, realities to others who need them as well. I place my hope for effectiveness in the enabling anointing of the Spirit. Amen. And that is today's fit Day by Day by Grace by Bob Pokstra. Alright, my brothers and sisters, I will return with the Daily Promise. Peace be with you. Love you guys. Shalom.